In today's video, we are going to share everything you need to know about how to use SEMrush's new Content Shake AI tool. SEMrush is a premium SEO platform that has a bunch of really great tools to help improve your rank in search engines. Some of the tools are keyword research, competitive analysis, site audits, backlink tracking, and comprehensive online visibility insights for your website. It also has this really neat Content Shake AI feature that we will be showing you and discussing today in the video. Content Shake AI is a content tool that allows you to create unique, engaging content for your user. It powers your business expertise with AI and competitive data so you can produce more quality articles for your website. Content Shake AI assists you with everything from ideation to publishing content on your blog or website. It also provides competitive highlights, analyzes what's trending in your niche, and uses AI technology to help you compose and improve your text. Okay, so now that we've discussed a little bit about what SEMrush and Content Shake AI are, let's discuss some of the reasons how Content Shake AI could be useful for your business before we dive into a tutorial of the platform. Why should should you use Content Shake AI. Some of the reasons why you might want to are to find personalized topic ideas for your business, assemble high performing articles. The app is going to generate an outline, introduction, headers, and other items with just one click. Optimize your content for users and search engines. You're going to be able to see your copy score for readability, tone of voice, and SEO. Find issues with your text and fix it instantly with AI. Transfer your blog posts to Google Docs. Publish your articles directly to WordPress without leaving the tool. And create social media posts from scratch. Now that we understand how Content Shake AI might be useful for you and your business, let's dive right into the tutorial and show you exactly how to use it. We'll leave our special link down below in the description. Go ahead and click that and then we can walk through the process here together. So once you've clicked on our special link down below, it'll bring you to this page here and you're just going to want to click start for free. Next, go ahead and create your account. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and click create account. Next, go ahead and just verify your email. And once you've done that, it'll bring you to this page here and you can just go ahead and click get free trial. With our code, you're going to get that seven day free trial period. And then after that, it's going to be $60 a month. Let's just go ahead and click get free trial. Next, Next, go ahead and enter your credit card information here. And then when you're finished, just press try it now. Once you've clicked try it now, it should bring you to a page here where we can customize our journey. So let's go ahead and describe our business here in a few words. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and click continue. Next, it'll ask us to best describe our current role. I'm just going to say blogger for the purposes of this video. Next, it'll ask you what type of business do you operate or work for? Right now, I'll just say local business, but go ahead and choose the option that best fits your business. Next, it's going to ask you to describe your current content plan. We'll just say that we haven't created any content yet. Next, it'll ask you how much you spent on content creation last month. We didn't spend any, so let's just choose this top option here. All right, and now we're in the dashboard for Content Shake AI. This little box will pop up and ask you whether or not you'd like to receive reports. Let's just say sure for now. Now we're on the homepage, and for the sake of this video, I told it that I run a pet business, and it'll give you a bunch of ideas right here on the right-hand side to start. Also in the top right-hand corner, you can create a social media post from scratch. So let's just dig into one of these ideas that it gave us. Let's see what this top one says. It says, top five pet grooming tips for beginners. I think that might be a good title for a blog article. So let's go ahead and click on the right hand side here where it says start writing. Once you've clicked on start writing up in the right hand corner, it will say create an article here. You can change the title and you can also see suggestions. So let's see what else it recommends. So some of the suggestions are top six pet grooming tips, mastering the art of pet grooming, pro tips for perfect pet grooming. Let's see what our competitors are using here. This is a really neat feature that you can see both what the AI suggests as well as what your competitors are using. And for some reason, the names used by my competitors editors aren't popping up for me right now, but they should be for you. But let's go ahead and go back to the suggested by AI and let's just choose one of these. I really like the pro tips for perfect pet grooming. So let's go ahead and click that one. And once you click the plus sign over here, you'll notice in the top bar that it changed to that. The next section is called your target keywords. Now these are some that it auto populated, but let's just see some other suggestions. So what's neat about this is it tells you the efficiency and the difficulty of ranking for that term. So 46%, that's possible. It also gives you the volume of searches there and you'll see that it's kind of low for this one. So let's see. Oh, animal grooming is a lot higher. So maybe we want to choose something like that, but you'll notice that the difficulty is slightly higher. So let's go ahead and add both of these actually. Okay. As we scroll down, you'll see that you can change the word count here. So if you want to make the blog post or article a little bit longer, you can do that, but let's just leave it at a thousand words for now. Next, you can choose the type of voice. So right now it's listed as neutral. You can do very casual, somewhat casual, somewhat formal, very formal. It's really up to you. For the sake of this video, when I'm creating content around dogs, let's keep it a little bit more casual and go with somewhat casual. Now it asks you the readability level. This is a really neat feature with Content Shake AI. You get to choose what type of readability you want for your article. So let's go ahead and click on these. You see the first one says conversational language, which is easy to read. They also have seventh grade, which is fairly easy. Eighth or ninth grade, which is plain language. College, which is difficult to read. And university graduates, which is very difficult to read. Now, if you're writing some type of scholarly article, then maybe you want to go with the college or university graduates. But for the most part, for an article, 
article like mine, we want to keep it at somewhat of an easier reading level. So let's just go ahead and choose this seventh grade option here. And the last thing here is the beta at the bottom that you can add an extra SEO boost. Let's just go ahead and click that for now. It's going to optimize our search data with this beta and it says it's going to take a little bit longer at four minutes, but let's just go ahead and click create article now. And as you can see, it's going to create our article. It has our title here and it's creating the words and you can see with this bar here in the top left hand corner. Okay, great. Now you can see that it's adding all the words to our article here. It has this cute picture of a little pug with a blanket over him and it's going to finish all these words here in a second. The word count we gave it was a thousand words. It went a little bit over at 1102 and let's look at what it created for us here. On the right hand side here, you'll see that the article is ready. Let's publish it and the overall score is an 83%. It says this article is ready to appear in Google and bring us new clients. It has all these target keywords that we told it to create. The readability level is seventh grade. The word count is a thousand, a little bit over and the tone of voice is somewhat casual. So we can go ahead and publish this article right away by just clicking here on publish, or we can do things like customize the article and regenerate quickly. Now this article actually is very well written, but you might just want to use it as an outline and to adjust some of the words and phrases yourself. Or if you want to publish it, you can just go ahead and do that too. Content Shake says it's ready to publish, so you can do that. Let's just go ahead and go down to customize the article and press that now. So once you click customize the article, it'll bring you into this page here and you can do a couple different things with the AI chatbot. If you go over here to the chatbot, it gives you some ideas for things to do with this blog article. You can generate titles, you can generate introductions, you can generate images, and you can generate structure for this content, which is all pretty neat. You can also ask it to write other things that you might have questions on. And if you click on the top right hand corner here under improvements, it also gives you improvements that you can make for your article. It'll give you SEO improvements, readability improvements, and tone of voice improvements. So it thinks that accidentally is too complex of a word with your seventh grade reading level. So you can go ahead and change that. And then there's 60 changes you can make in terms of tone of voice because it thinks it's a little bit too formal. So you can really go ahead and play around it here. They also have a competitor data section. Now it's not popping up for me. I'm not sure what's going on right now, but it just gives you a note here to be aware of plagiarism. You don't want to be plagiarizing your competitors. There also is this compose with AI button here at the top. So let's go ahead and click that. And the way this works is it's basically going to generate text depending on what section you are in in your article. So because I composed above the article here, it created somewhat of an introduction. And then I composed beneath the title and it created a different text for this heading. You can also click under the left hand side here on this ask AI button and you can basically ask it to write anything else. Let's go ahead and ask it what are some of the best rated groomers in Los Angeles. And there it goes. It gave us some data on some of the best rated groomers in Los Angeles. So the functionality of this tool is really limitless. There's so many different things that you can do with it and be sure to try out all the different areas where you can talk to the AI to get it to write content for your blog. Here's another really neat feature about Content Shake AI. It will rephrase or rewrite some of the text. So let's just go ahead and select this text here. And you'll see that when we do that, this bar pops up. We can either rephrase, simplify, expand, summarize, or make a list. Let's go ahead and make a list. So once you do that, this text will pop up and it'll make a list and you can go ahead and replace text. And you can also do something like summarize or you can do something like rephrase. This Content Shake AI tool is limitless. There are so many different things you can do with rephrasing, summarizing, and expanding the text. There's really limitless options here. To the left of these AI tools are just your basic formatting tools here. Okay, so before we go on here, let's just go ahead and ask the chatbot to create some images for us. Maybe I don't like these ones that are here. So let's just go ahead and see if we can get some more. So I'm going to go ahead and ask for images of golden retrievers and let's see what pops up. Okay, so this really cute picture of a golden retriever on a bed pops up and maybe I want to use that in our article here. It also gives us the person and the link to the website where this picture came from. Here's another cute one of two puppies as well. After you finish editing all the content and photos, now you're ready to publish. So let's go ahead and click publish up here in the top right hand corner. Notice that these are two buttons here on the right hand side. You can create a boost for your post on social media platforms or you can publish. Let's just go ahead and click publish here. Okay, so here's a really important part before we finish up the video here. You want to make sure that you can connect your WordPress or send to Google Docs. However, you want to publish this, you want to make sure that you can do it. So let's show you how to set up Content Shake AI with WordPress. So go ahead and log into your WordPress account and then we're going to go down here to plugins. Once you're at plugin, you want to go ahead and click add new plugin and then we'll go over to the right hand corner here in the text box and click search plugins. Now we're just going to type in content shake AI and here it is. Now we'll just go ahead and click install now. Okay, great. And now we're installed. We just need to activate it. So let's go ahead and activate it. Okay. And then what you want to do now is go ahead and go down to settings on the left hand panel here. And once you scroll over settings, you should see at the very bottom here, content shake, go ahead and click on that. And then once you're here on content shake, all you have to do is scroll down and press connect content shake. Next, it'll bring you to a page like this. And all you have to do is press allow. Okay. So now that you've connected your WordPress account with your SEMrush and content
content shake AI account. Let's go ahead and see how to post the article on our WordPress. Let's just make sure it worked. So let's go ahead and click jump to article here. And then we're going to go ahead and click publish again. And now you'll see my website pops up here and everything looks good. So we can go ahead and publish the article here. And then there's also an easier way if you want to send it to Google Docs, you don't have to set anything up there. All you have to do is press open in Google Docs. But for most of you, it's going to be crucial that you connect your WordPress account so that you can publish these articles directly to your website. So let's just go ahead and click publish article and let's see what happens here. Great. So our article is published. Let's just go ahead and open the article now. And now you'll see that it's logged us into our WordPress account and our article is created here. Okay. So now that you know how to publish your articles directly to your website, let's go over one more thing in Content Shake AI before we finish up this video. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to the app center here and go to my apps and then go to Content Shake AI. And this will bring us back to the main page here. The last thing that I want to show you here is the create social media post from scratch. So let's go ahead and click start writing here. So this allows you to create a post on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram, and you can go ahead and select all of them or one of them, whatever you want to choose. And you can go ahead and select however many you'd like here. Next, let's go ahead and say what the post is about. So let's provide some information on that. Next, we can go ahead and pick the voice type. Let's just go ahead and say somewhat casual. And then we get to pick the type of post. So let's just say since we're selling dog grooming services that we're going to pick sales post. Okay, now let's go ahead and create the post. Okay, and just like that, it's created three Facebook posts for us, three Twitter posts or X, three LinkedIn posts, and then three Instagram posts. And the social media posting has the exact same features as if you were to post on a blog. So you can still compose with AI and change anything on this page with Content Shake's AI platform. As you can see, Content Shake AI is a super powerful tool that will help you create blog posts, articles for your website, and social media posts with their innovative AI technology. We highly recommend that you give this a try. It's really one of the best tools out there right now for content ideation and creation. That's all we have for you today for our step-by-step -step tutorial of SEMrush's new Content Shake AI tool. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content like this in the future, please leave us a like and subscribe down below. We will leave our special link to your seven-day free trial of SEMrush's Content Shake AI tool down below in the description. Just know that if you do use our link, we will get a small referral fee at no additional cost to you. This really helps us keep creating free content like you, so thank you in advance. Also, this channel is dedicated to providing you free resources to help you start and grow your first website. And if you're looking to make your first website, but you don't know where to get started, we also created a free tool that will leave the link down below in the description as well. Be sure to check that out. Thank you so much for watching. We wish you the best on your website building journey, and we will see you in the next video.